In this video, I will show you how you can port forward to be able to host in Wolf for the Overworld. I will demonstrate this for UPC and RNs. First thing you need to figure out is what's your IP address. And for this, you press the Windows key and R and then type CMD. Then you see this black box. In this black box, you type IP config. And then you see your IP address, then your subnet mask, which isn't relevant for here right now, and your standard gateway, which you have to type in in your browser to connect to your router. So now when you, we um, wrote down our IP address, we type the standard gateway IP address in our browser. That's most likely 192.168.0.1. You most likely will see a login window. I already have done this because I don't want to show you my login data. So next what you do is go to advanced, then forwarding. And here we have to type our ports we want to open. And for this, I go to this guide from Noontime. I will link it down in the description. Scroll down and look for, for those two ports you want to open. Now press Ctrl C to copy it. Then go back to your router and Ctrl V minus Ctrl V. Now I have to type my IP address here and right here I do exactly the same what I did here. So I take this, Control C, Control V, and I save it. Now I will add the second port I want to open. So I copy this one and paste it here. And again, and here exactly the same what we did last time. So I type in my IP address. Then I copy this here and paste it here. Now I press save and you're done. You now have successfully um, port forwarded and now you are able to host. For our ions, I will go to internet forwarding. Then I'll go to port mapping new port mapping. Here I will firstly change to my PC. Then I will go to application and add port mapping application. I will scroll down to add port application. Here I will just uh, give it a name. I will just give it the name of the port I want to port forward. And to the external port I will just add the port uh, from the guide from Noontide here. I will start with the 27015. I can't copy it, so I will just type it down. And I will add this number to all four boxes, to external port and internal port. To the protocol, I can set it to TCP, but I found it more reliable to set to TCP and UDP. Go then and set safe. I will close this for the first port. The mapping name, I will call it WFTO27015. That's just the name for it. And don't forget that you have to select the application which you just did before. Now go save. And for the next port, I will just add new port mapping and do the same thing over again. Don't forget to change the internet host to your PC. Then go to application, add port map application, 
scroll down again at port mapping and here I will type this second port I want to port forward. And here again TCP just fine but TCP and UDP is more reliable in my opinion. Then save then close this select the new port you want to enter give it a name just like the previous one WFTO 27016 and save. Now you also have successfully put forwarded for ions. Even though for ions it isn't needed because the provider already allows those ports to be put forwarded to your PC. You might ask yourself is there any risk if I open some ports and I have to say yes. But you aren't more likely to get viruses nor your family is getting uh, a higher risk of getting viruses on your PC or their PC. The only um, risk I can see here is that if you are targeted by a hacker then yes it is more likely or it is easier for the hacker to get access to your PC. But if you are targeted by a hacker he will find a way to get into your PC. If you still have problems hosting in Wu for the overworld, you might want to check your antivirus if they might block Wu for the overworld or those two ports. I heard especially from AVG users that they have problems even launching Wu for the overworld and they are very likely that those two ports uh, get blocked. I also heard that Avira antivirus users might have some problems uh, hosting so just try out if if you turn off your antivirus to play Wolf for the Overworld with your friend if that's helping even though I don't recommend to turn off your antivirus. You should also check your firewall if your firewall is blocking those two ports. Now I will show you how the multiplayer lobby looks like and explain where you can join or could join if they weren't password protected. So this guy here, Bernard La B Dine or whatever, he's able to host. You can see his ping. There's already one who joined his lobby. It's password protected and it's full so we can't join. This Stormborn guy he isn't able to host. You can't see a ping, it's a minus. You can also see one from three players, so no one were able to join his lobby. So you can't join it either. Those two guys, Chaffy, Veggie and Freggy, those two guys are able to host. You see a ping, even a good one. And it's also password protected, also a full lobby, so you can't join, but if they had the full lobby, you were able to join. Now I will show you how it looks like when you are able to host. Go to host game and here, success. All of the ports required to host a server are open. Here you are. You're welcome.